addressing climate change is a global challenge, with all nations facing decarbonization and adaptation choices. The Electric Power Research Institute is examining the pace of U.S. carbon emissions reductions needed to achieve the goal of cutting economy-wide emissions in half by 2030 across the U.S. economy. Annual energy-related carbon emissions declined by around 18 percent between 2005 and 2022, Driving CO2 50% below 2005 levels by 2030 implies a nearly fourfold increase in the rate of decarbonization, accelerating from a roughly one percentage point reduction per year to roughly four percentage points per year. Additional reductions are projected in the decades ahead as the U.S. targets net zero economy wide emissions by 2050. Between 2005 and 2022, the power sector reduced its carbon emissions by 35%, driven by end-use efficiency gains, coupled with natural gas and renewables replacing coal. Electric sector reductions will need to accelerate over the coming decade to achieve a four-fold increase in the economy-wide pace, with high solar and wind penetration and advanced low-carbon technologies emerging. Achieving net-zero power sector emissions will take time, and involve substantial technology innovation to make the transition affordable and reliable. Carbon emissions in the transportation, buildings, and industry sectors declined relatively little between 2005 and 2022. These sectors will have to accelerate reductions substantially to meet 2030 goals. Electrification will play a central role in the decades ahead. Transportation, buildings, and industry are projected to continue reducing emissions powered by electrification, low-carbon fuels, and carbon capture and storage. With the development of carbon dioxide removal technologies, some direct emissions can remain, while still achieving the economy-wide net-zero target. This flexibility can provide important benefits for affordability and reliability. The power sector is poised to play a crucial role in realizing the U.S. carbon goals in the coming decades through direct emission reductions and by enabling economy-wide carbon reductions. As we decarbonize and further electrify the transportation, industry, and building sectors, we simultaneously need to ensure the electric grid can withstand extreme weather and the changing climate conditions of today and tomorrow. Adapting the grid and proactively planning upgrades to handle extreme weather require evaluating trends in future climate projections, assessing system exposure and vulnerabilities, and investing in robust risk mitigation options and adaptation strategies that account for regional differences. Maintaining and improving resilience will be a critical part in the decarbonization journey as we engage the global community to build a clean, affordable, safe, reliable, and equitable energy future.